Jacques Cousteau said that once the sea casts its spell on you, you are held in its net of wonder forever. The deep ocean is really one of our last frontiers on this planet. And in some ways, it's a wide open space and wide open for new discoveries. So I think it's one of the most exciting areas of study for young scientists to enter. I think there are many, many opportunities and needs. What was perhaps 20, 30 years ago, rather an esoteric, poorly understood field of scientific research has now suddenly become extremely relevant. We have, for example, now even in the Caribbean Sea, we have exploration for oil and gas. We have these amazing discoveries. You know, when we're kids, we all want to be explorers at some point. We all want to be Indiana Jones. And it really hit home that this was a career in which I could do that for real. I could be a real life explorer. Have you ever thought of a career in deep sea exploration and science? There are a wide range of possibilities in this field that seem to grow wider every day. The Caribbean has traditionally been tied to the ocean in many ways. It is therefore important for us as Caribbean people to be a part of this wonderful adventure. So why not you? As a young Vincent, one of the things that impacted on me significantly is that all of these scientists that we were hearing were people that weren't from St. Vincent. The only person, I guess, that looked a little like a regional person and looked like me was Dr. Keith Rowley, who was, at the time, a geologist, a seismic. I felt that, you know, if we have a volcano that's going to erupt, that you needed to have at least some level of local knowledge. I was interested in geology generally. I then decided I would become a geologist and a volcanologist. For this reason, organizations such as the University of the West Indies, UE, Seismic Research Center, SRC, and the National Institute of Higher Education, Research, Science and Technology, NEHERS, place great emphasis on outreach programs so that Caribbean students can see people with their own history and background excelling in their field. Marine biologists are quite few in Trinidad and Tobago and in the Caribbean, so there is an opportunity for scientists and researchers to get involved. One of our strategic objectives at Seismic is actually to grow the amount of geoscientists in the region, who are based in the region, who are knowledgeable of the region, because we think that's important in terms of you know, sustainable development in the region. You can't develop the region if you don't have people in the region who understand it, who understand the problems that you have, and therefore could find solutions to it. It really is a great time for young people to get into this industry. It's, it's only going to increase, jobs are only going to become more and more and more, and it, it really is fulfilling, and doing something you love is just the most fantastic feeling in the world. There are many opportunities open to young scientists, including with the Ocean Exploration Trust. We hope that the students and the teachers in the Caribbean nations we've been working with will continue to apply for our program. Go to Ocean Exploration Trust, go under Opportunities, and you'll see that you can apply and continue to come to sea with us wherever we are. The ocean doesn't discriminate, and there are opportunities for women as well as people of all backgrounds. We want it to have all the faces of humanity. We want particularly a lot of women. The future for deep sea exploration is very bright, but we do need to have young people and older ones who are interested to develop their scientific careers and non-scientific careers in these areas. You can do so in a number of ways. The general sort of STEM areas of scientific research, meaning science, technology, engineering and mathematics, those are of course careers that we are all pretty much aware of. There are also ample opportunities for students who don't choose to enter scientific fields including communication, education and administration. I can't think of any more exciting job than to be a deep sea biologist these days. Every place you go and visit that has never been visited before, you're an explorer. Not only the discovery of new species, but new behaviors, new habitats, new ecosystems, if you will. If you have a taste for adventure, you could join the crew of a deep sea expedition. It's tough work though. The ship usually works 24 seven. So you usually have ships, people work our sort of three or four, six hour shifts and they rotate so that continuously throughout the time that the ship is out there, it's collecting data. The vessel is very efficiently run and the food is excellent. We are all mandated to do a four hour shift and everyone has to pull his or her own weight. So you may have to wake up at 12 o'clock, midnight or at 4 a.m. to do your shift. If hands-on adventure appeals to you, 
What about a career as an ROV engineer or even a submersible pilot? Just imagine plunging below the waves, sinking into the darkness to explore where very few have gone before. When I found the Titanic, it was the end of one story and the beginning of another one. The deep sea is the largest museum on earth. There's more history in the deep sea than all the museums of the world combined. But right now there's no lock on the door. So there's this human history there, but it's at peril and risk. And we need to make sure that we don't go into the deep sea to plunder it, but to appreciate it. Networking is important in any field. So young scientists are encouraged to connect with others locally through organizations such as UWE, SRC and NEHERS, and internationally through organizations such as the Deep Sea Biology Society. The society really exists to help these scientists, these young researchers, students, to get connected to all of these famous names in deep sea biology. We're really there to help them, help those people achieve their career goals, move into disciplines, whether it's in academic science or as professional researchers working in government or in regulation or in, even in industry as well. A critical part of what we do is to get the message out. We have now are bringing online a new mobile system that we can put on other ships. So we now have the ability to come back. We just need to have someone want us to come back. Scientists who spend their lives discovering the wonders of the deep are only laying the foundations for young scientists of the future who will truly have the tools and technology at their disposal. The next generation of kids in school will explore more of Earth than all expeditions before them. So the true explorers, the ones that will write about in 100 years, are about 12 years old right now. So we're trying to get them excited because it's their generation that are going to make some of the greatest discoveries ever made. Study science, out call science, so that you get a good foundation in science and science thinking. Always try to be curious, also develop curiosity. Do not be selfish, share your knowledge with others because that's also where you can actually learn from others. So come along and let the ocean cast its spell over you. I never grew up. I, I decided that I, there's, no, there's no reason to ever grow up. So I still have that childhood excitement when you go somewhere and you see something you've never seen before and you never get tired of that. Mm -hmm.